My career started, I, when I think back on it, part of me wonders if I was always destined to end up doing this type of work. I discovered that there was a whole industry of people out there that their job was to attempt to fix underperforming companies and to take a company through a bankruptcy and work in the operations and understand how to make it better. What then ended up happening is I got introduced to Stephen Gray at Recovery Group and he was doing a lot of turnaround work. He, I was able to build off the foundation of what I'd learned as a lender and go work with Stephen for five years and get his perspective and learn a lot from him as a mentor. And then in 98, I joined Alex Partners and moved to New York. I've been really lucky that I made a good choice. I've been able to grow personally and professionally with Alex Partners for 20 years now. A very exciting assignment that I worked on, which I always have fond memories of, was when I was CEO at New World Pasta is not only because it was my first CEO assignment, but because my kids were now at an age where they understood a little bit about what I did. And pasta is tangible to them. So they would call me every morning and tell me what, what New World Pasta needed to make. And they did this based on our local grocery store. So they would look at the grocery store and they would say, oh, there's not enough lasagna, there's not enough ziti, we need to call mom and tell her that you know Prince and Ranzoni need to make that. So I had this image of them calling me and thinking that, you know, I was taking down their orders and I was sitting at my desk all day just cranking out, making the pasta so that it would then end up going to our local food emporium. So that, that's one of my favorites for that, that reason, not just the great results, but I have really happy family memories about that one. Lisa's, of all the people I've ever met in my life, she is probably the person I would think most likely would be somebody born to be a leader. Um, from the first time that I met her, she has the drive. Um, to want to drive change, to drive improvement, to move whatever the situation is from one place to a better place. Uh, you know, she finds ways to create more than 24 hours in a day in order to be able to, you know, make sure that everybody gets the piece of her that they need. One of my most impactful cases was probably Chief Restructuring Officer at the Puerto Rican Power Authority. I was there for two and a half, almost three years, and it was a wholesale turnaround. We took out 300 million of annualized costs. We generated working capital of about 300 million. We got a consensual deal with all of the creditors that were involved, and we made real change. We worked with the um, employees in the island on real cultural change, a meritocracy, variable-based compensation, metrics so that they could understand when they were making improvement and they could actually see it. I, I'm really proud of what we did down there because it was so high profile and such high stakes and what we were doing mattered immensely to that island. This is such a cool profession and there's nothing like going to work, being really excited about what you do. And it's so gratifying when you, what you're doing works and when a company is fixed and you're able to save the enterprise and save jobs. I'm amazed by what I don't know and how, you know, I grow professionally on every assignment. Truly, I learn on every assignment and I think that I would tell young professionals it's worth it. It's, it's a great career, it's, it's a lot of fun, it's, it's hard, but that's kind of what it's about. And, um, you know, don't give up and don't be afraid to ask questions. Lisa's had a fabulous impact on Alex Partners. Not only in her 20 years with the firm has she led some of the highest profile, most challenging, most difficult cases, she's also been an incredible mentor for so many of our professionals. She's been a really, really important senior leader in our firm, and she's just done fabulous work case after case, but also, I mean, she's without doubt the leading female restructuring professional in the world. She's always herself, so she's authentic, she's super smart, she brings enormous energy to a situation, she's very analytical, and she gets to the point really quickly.